Assalamualaikum, good morning to everybody. So today I like to do a review regards to this uh, Acerola, Acerola cherries. Eh? These are uh, Barbados cherries, uh, a kind of uh, a tropical forms of uh, cherries that we have. Uh, this is not Wachermai or sort of, eh? because these are uh, from the Caribbeans. Uh, what they call this species are uh, originally from Caribbeans, uh, where they have this. Uh, cherries, a uh, sweet sour kind of cherries uh, with a tart taste, you know. It's not so sour and not so sweet at times. So I have managed to, to have this in, in this Malaysia here, uh, which I get it, the seed from, uh, what they call it, from Amazon. And I, I managed to grow a few of this uh, cherry tree, which is, is well known to be one of the top what they call it uh, in terms of uh, super fruits, you know, that uh, it is the best uh, source of vitamin C. That uh, we all know that these are the natural form of vitamin C, where many big pharmacies, you know, big families or or company which are dealing with uh, nutrition and other forms of uh, supplements, used to to make this cherry as their base, you know. As the bucks of their uh, what they call it vitamin C and nutrients uh, that they sell off in, in in the form of powder or capsules but anyhow as I said we, we are considered very lucky that in Malaysia we still can grow these subtropical kinds of plants though we have uh, a hot what they call it a hot humid and highly humid kind of weather uh, with, 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 with what I call it intermittent rain now and then but anyhow I have tried to grow these cherries and it really what you call it uh, what you call it able to 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 accommodate the weather is able to accommodate that these cherries will, will also flourish in this in this in Malaysia so I have a few trees here back in my backyard in Saramban so these cherries contain the number two highest content of vitamin C. Uh, for every 100 grams, they can easily contribute to around 70 to 90 milligrams, which is quite high, you know, and they're the highest, the second highest, apart from the chuma chuma, what they call berries. We, we have this uh, uh, Barbados cherries that is very good, a natural, supplements for our body which is very important that uh, as what you all know that vitamin c is a very uh, important vitamins uh, to have and the only part that our body can really can produce vitamin c and you know so we have to consume it on daily basis from the intakes of vegetables or other citrus fruits that we all find in this country so this this one piece of uh, acerola uh, according to some research is equivalent to eating seven uh, pieces of apples green apples or citrus you know so that is the amount of vitamin c that they can produce for every piece of this so just imagine that if we can have if we can have in our garden one or two trees of this a solora, what they call it, is Barbados cherry, is enough to give us a neutral forms of what they call it uh, supplement for vitamin C. Uh, they are got they are got many other vitamins there. They have some vitamin E, vitamin D, and vitamin A in this. But they are high concentration concentrations of vitamin C. So, uh, especially at this moment of the year, you know, when we have been suffering from what they call the global pandemics of COVID now. Uh, which, as you all know, that for every patient that been to the hospital, they are only been supplemented with vitamin C, Panadol, and all those things. So in our case here, if we can be able to 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 have these one a few a few trees in our garden, that will be enough to supplement our needs for vitamin C, a very a neutral form, a very natural forms of vitamin C. Uh, we don't need uh, any other things what they call it, any other forms of vitamin C, even in terms of capsule or over-the-counter kind of vitamin C. So, as I said, 
if we all Malaysians, especially those who have space in their house or uh, in their garden or in their compound, they may be able to be plan one. Or they may able to plan one or two of these. It's good enough to give them a good supply of vitamin C. You know, because as what you know, nothing there is no the best is to boost our immunity, especially in these uh, times of pandemics. We need to have a very good uh, uh, immunity in our body, especially uh, in the aspects of uh, what they call it to 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 get over with flu, colds. Because as what we know, COVID is another extreme part of viruses uh, of uh, flu families. You know, so these are the extreme things that's happening in our country. So we need to really look into all those uh, natural sources. You know, which is. As I said, it's cheap. Uh, it's a matter of time that we will now we are be much aware that how important is immunity to our body. So I, I would suggest, especially I, I I I did talk to some of these agriculturalists, you know, and those uh, who do research and to to see into this, because as what we say, uh, the world over, you know, in terms of supplementary uh, supplements for vitamin C. These are their base product, the Barbados cherry. That, that is the most known base product to produce vitamin C. I think there are big pharmacies, you know, you can go through the internet, you can just look into it, just serve, just type in Barbados cherry, what is the benefit and all these things. There are several medical journals that, that, that really rectify and verify these are one of the best source of vitamin C in the world today. Okay, so Alhamdulillah for us in Malaysia, we can... Uh, plan this as we wish uh, if we have some space in our compound do have these cherries okay this cherry can come in various I mean in, in, as you can see here it's multi colors okay uh, the green have the most uh, highest percentage of vitamin C when they are green and uh, the percentage will reduce gradually when they are fully ripened okay so to consume it green this is the best one. Uh, as what I I, I, have, I myself have been doing it, I consume two to three or the most of maximum of five pieces a day. That's more than enough for a supplements of vitamin C of our body. Okay? For most of us, we all know that we use some supplementary, what they call it, supplements for vitamin C, which is uh, what they call it, ascorbic acid, as what is well known for, which is uh, what they call it, uh, is a chemical kind of uh, acid. You know that is similar with uh, what vitamin C from the natural came from, but as I said, uh, it is the natural is still the best. Whoever, whoever, those who love natural healings, they love uh, traditional healing, they, they will go for natural sources, uh, for for supplements of their vitamin C. So in, in this context, uh, it is very important to all of us to to venture. Or to look around, especially if there is any of these trees available in the country, okay, uh, the original form, not not the the hybrid form uh, that we can get it from. I heard from nursery, so they are selling from Vietnam and all these things. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, but anyhow, these are the cherry that are having it uh, in my backyard here. A very natural forms of uh, Barbados cherry or acerola cherries. Uh, the best form of vitamin C and there are big pharmacies all are having this cherry as their base product of the the, the known so that they can hold the the contents of vitamin C even after processes to certain a uh, percentage okay we call that one of the highest percentage that is able to contain what they call it able to hold on the potence of vitamin C in their products for example I believe there are big companies like uh, there's a certain brand like Neutralite. I, I think I don't know. It's from Mway. I think so. Uh, if you can really surf into that, these are the main product of Mway. And we know, we don't know that Mway is not cheap. It's one of the most premium vitamin C in the country. And they get it. And their base product for vitamin C is Acerola. That is Barbados Cherry. So oh, let us uh, see into it. If, if we've got time, if we've got space, Plan this a few. So, so as I said, this is my review regarding this Acerola. Uh, you can go to my website, 
uh, if time permits i will upload it into youtube okay for the time being let me see because today what i i intend to do with my my harvest yesterday uh, i think i got around two kilos here i got few more here uh, uh these are the cherries that i managed to, uh, to pick up yesterday this is from around around three trees of around three trees from three trees uh is 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 now is i already call it they are bearing fruit now normally from july to november they, they bear fruits especially on, on the onset of uh, of the monsoons you know when monsoon is there when there is a heavy rain and then we can see these trees start to flower and and produce a lot of cherries multi colors of cherries so guys let us see into this uh, the possibility of us to plant this in our compound and be sort of a supply to our family a natural supply of vitamin c that would strengthen our our body which will boost up our immunity toward any kind of flus you know or although there are some study they say that there's one of the best uh, source of uh, what they call it a natural supplement to 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 what they call it to defend our body from from covid-19 or, or any sorts of that kind of flu that we are facing now this pandemic is really very sickening and not not many of us really can have the supplement it's very expensive now even vitamin c suddenly they search the price uh, uh, for for the pandemic for the reason of the pandemic to boost boost up the immunity so if we, we can consume this on daily basis three four pieces a day that is good enough for each of us for the whole family to 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 have uh, what i call it uh, a continuous supply of vitamin c these guys apart from this uh vitamin c that they have the most uh, uh forms of vitamin that we can have it from acerola there are other vitamin they have thiamines folics they have flavonoids and other forms of antioxidants because you, as we all know when the food is colors they got a lot of antioxidant they got highest uh, potence of antioxidant similarly with this one nobody can dispute that it's one of the best form of antioxidant in our body okay this is as well is not only to build up our immunity against all sort of flus but it got contents uh, collagens it tend is good for our skin it good for, for for the whole functions of our system and um, it help us uh, with a uh, high contents of fibers also because the seed is edible you know the seed is edible where people used to make it as a shrub you know they, they use it as a shrub you know shrub shrub for scrubbers you know for scrubbers because the, their fiber is soft and nice but it's good for our digestive system uh, there was no what sort of uh, side effect for, for this flu because it's natural grown unless whatever you overdo then it, it may be to certain extent but the only thing that they find nowadays unless you consume it more than you're supposed to consume say you take almost a cup a day that way you contribute to diarrhea and some sort of that but for normal taking is good so as what i have mentioned earlier regarding what it could do to our body what it can contribute to our health in terms of immunity and everything we have also uh, i also do some reading in, in the internet or some source of the medical journals uh, which I do have some link in in my uh, in my blogs. Uh, my blog is Esorola Malaysia. Blogspot. Com. There are a lot of links there with regards to this Esorola that that can tell us uh, that can uh, the reading of scientific reading, scientific finding, uh, what really good for this. Uh, so on top of that, because uh, other than consume it naturally unless uh, it's a mass produce a uh, mass big like amways they got a uh, few thousand hectares in brazil in, in brazil they are, they are their farms just cultivating acerola and that is their base vitamin c for their neutralite vitamin c so another thing this is good also for diabetes where from this uh, acerola or this barbados cherry we can make gems you know gems and other delicacies that we want to uh, especially jam where you can produce uh, diabetic gems you know where no sugar is added or maybe some sort of organic sugar to a very lesser extent to be mixed up during the cooking of this cherry 
for consumptions of diabetic people, you know, people with diabetes, which is, they, they may love jam, but not much of diabetic jam that is uh, suitable for, for people with diabetes. Uh, if they have also, it's very expensive out there. So, apart from jam, you can make, uh, what do you call it, uh, sort of uh, pickles, you know, from this, where we Malaysian also are very famous for uh, having pickles with our food. Okay, so we can make pickles, we can make jam from this food, even they are using in the Western country as a decoration for their cakes and all sorts. It's a beautiful cherries, what do you call it? So, so there are many ways and means, uh, what do you call it, how we are going to consume uh, this uh, Esorola or Barbados cherry. So, just for today, because I'm trying, I did already a try of the jam, how to make the jam from this uh, it can withstand without any form of, of preservative, no other additional contents, uh, no other ingredients, just them. The process and I have been keeping it, I have been trying it, uh, cooking it, what do you call it, from grinding it and make them, what do you call it, uh, uh, into a, a jam. It's very beautiful, the taste is wonderful uh, and, and it's very suitable for, for diabetic patients. Uh, and, and, and again, the, the content of vitamin C is still well preserved in the form of jam, but may, maybe to a very, uh, what do you call it, less, less percentage. Uh, as what they say, uh, even you cook it, they will still maintain around 30% of the potency of vitamin C in them. So just that for today, guys, uh, regarding this uh, Esrola Barbados cherry uh, that I have in, 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 in my backyard here, there have been... Uh, cultivating it and I'm now still in the process of trying to propagate this this cherry into into more 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 what do you call it more numbers so that I could plant in, in a bigger place so I can see the potency there I mean the potentials of these uh, plants you know of this uh, to supplements of vitamin C although this all this year we are talking about citrix you know about lemons and all those things yes that there's no doubt but never they can be able to beat acerola cherries in terms of the potency of, of, of vitamin C. So just that for today, guys. Uh, I'm looking forward for more videos because after this, I will like to, I, I would be doing gems from this around two half, two and a half kilos or almost three kilos of Barbados cherry that I can produce four, four or five bottles of gem today. Okay, so just that for today. See you again in my next video. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Goodbye.